like to officially welcome all of you back to school. I hope you've had a very good Easter break. Well, uh, this time, we are going to have something simple, more practical. All right, so we will have, be having a lot of practicals compared to the previous year. Do you know why? Thanks to Madam, uh, we have lots of computers for our practicals this year. So you say a very big thank you to Madam for listening to us, uh, for providing those laptops for us, for our practicals, which is going to enable us to have a lot of practicals this academic year, or this term, compared to last term. Last term was always book, book, book. This term, we're going to concentrate more on the practical aspect. What are we doing this term? That requires us having a lot of practicals. We are going to practice our typing skills. All right. We are going to have more of typing than any other thing. Along the way, we will um, master Microsoft Office Word, the PowerPoint, and the rest. We are going to begin with a software that we call. Mavis Beacon Master Teaches Typing. Okay? We are saying that we are going to learn about Mavis Beacon Master Teaches Typing. This is a software specially dedicated for typing, to, to practice or to learn how to type. All right? To practice how to type. Okay? So this is how the screen or the welcome screen of the Mac Mavis Beacon Teaches Typing, this is how it is. Yeah, this is how it is. So once you open the Mavis Beacon, you see a registration there. All right, you see a registration. The first thing you do is to type in your name. All right, so just look on your keyboard and type. My name is Mr. K. Yeah, so Mr. K. Now my English is not Espanol, it's English. So I choose English. Let's come to the keyboard type. We have the standard keyboard, we have the ego or split, and we have the 10 key. The standard keyboard is what you have on the laptop you're using, and then we have the ego or the split, all right, which you don't have. The 10 key is what usually is being used at the supermarket, all right? So when you go to the supermarket, you see them with a small keyboard that allows them to, you know, type in the amounts and the things you've bought. We leave that, we select the standard, and then we have the ego or the splits. Then we have the typing go, all right? So leave that at the beginner, all right? We are beginners, so you can see that we have a beginner, and then we have the intermediate, and we have the advanced. Leave it as it is, and click on OK. When you click on OK, it will show you a screen, so you select your name and then click on OK. In this page, if there is a new person that is going to use this Mavis Beacon on the same computer, that's this one you click on the new. Okay, if it's the same person, you just click on your name and you click on OK. If the other users, you see all of them, their names will appear on this welcome screen, then you click on your name, you click on OK. Okay, my name is Mr. K. I click on it and I click on OK. So this is more like a classroom. So you enter and then it shows you what you want to do. Okay, so let's, first of all, we have the take a lesson, practice area, typing games. <laughs> I know somebody like Daniel would like these typing games. Yeah, it is more fun and then it allows you to uh, play a game whilst you are practicing your typing skills as well. Uh, so let's go to take a lesson because, you know, we are new to this page and we need to take a lesson before we can do any other thing, yeah? So let's click on take a lesson. Now, the first thing you see when you come to this page is uh, the Mavis Beacon, uh, the madam, or let me use it that way, the person that is going to teach you for your lessons for today. And then we have here to be my typing level. We have first beginner lesson, all right? So 
we're going to select the first beginner lesson. Now, I want you to take a very closer look at the keyboard. All right. The most important thing of all this, what we're doing, is for you to actually type without looking on the keyboard. Like, so even if you close your eyes, you will be able to type rapidly as possible without actually looking on the keyboard. Yeah. So look at the keyboard in front of you. Now, I taught you earlier that we have uh, each region, when I say region, each country you are, have their own keyboard. So the English people, we have the QWERTY, which start from K-O-W-E-R-T-Y, all right? And then the French start from Azerty, all right? So if you see my keyboard, my keyboard is Azerty, all right? It's not QWERTY, but the keyboard you have in front of you is QWERTY, all right? So you put your little finger on the A, the S, the D, and the F. I mean, these four fingers, A, S, D, F. The thumb rests on the space bar. When I talk about the space bar, you see the, the biggest key on your keyboard. All right, that is what we call the space bar. Now, your right hand also goes on the colon L, K, J, okay? And then the thumb also rest on the keyboard, as you can see on the screen. Now, whatever you type, whatever you are supposed to type becomes green. So all what you got to do is to pay attention to the screen and not on the keyboard. I know majority of you, initially, in the beginning, you're going to have some challenges here, but that is normal. In the beginning, you have one or two challenges along the way, and as time goes on, you will be able to catch up. Let's move straight to the screen and select first beginner lesson, all right? So once you select the first beginner lesson, you said, let's learn some new keys. Watch the guide, the guide hand below. If you are unsure how to move your fingers, try not to look at the keyboard, okay? So the main goal is to try as much as possible not to look on the keyboard, okay? Soon, you'll be able to type any word you want. So do not look on the, t on the, on the keyboard because if you, are not, uh, if you do that, you will not learn anything new. So try your best, yeah? I see you. My eyes is on you, yeah? Try not to look on the keyboard. Let's click on Start and continue on Start. So first of all, as I said, the A, S, D, F, thumb. A, S, D, F, thumb. All right, so they go on the keyboard as you see on the screen, okay? So I'm supposed to type A, so it's green on the keyboard. I type A. Oh, sorry, I'm on a caps lock. Always make sure you're not using a caps lock. When I'm talking about caps lock, caps lock I'm talking about a capital letter, right? So always, it's a small letter. A, S, D, F, A, D, S, A, S, D, F. Let's practice the keys you've learned. You've learned by linking them in different ways. Get ready for key combinations. So we did A, S, D, F, A. So now it is going to combine almost everything so that we will be able to I mean, type as fast as possible. So let's go back to the keyboard and click on Start. So as you can see on the screen, it's missed now. So we do uh, A, F, S, Space, you see the space is green. A, S. Whenever you make a mistake, it becomes red, yeah? A, S, A, space. A, S, D, space. A, S, D, F, space. D, A, D, space. Uh, D, A, D, A, space. D, A. I know it was Daniel's prayer that I lose this. But hey, Daniel, you're a liar. Stop. 
Good job. All right. So once you are done with this, you have your accuracy. My accuracy for this morning is 96%. I have a, type, a typing speed of a 13. I made only three errors. All right. So this is the report. Now you're going to start again. All right. So let's see if I'll be able to get 100% accuracy. So I come and then I position my hands on my keyboard. Eight. Okay, so we come to the end of another typing skill. And as you can see, I made 13 errors thanks to Daniel's prayers, that guy. All right, so this is how our lesson is going to be taken. Once you are done with the left hand, it brings you to the right hand. And then you keep on practicing. So we're going to use the next one hour of our time to practice this may be quantities type and that will enable us to actually have a very uh, good typing skills it will help at the end of this term i'm hoping that it will improve very well on your typing skills all right so let's move back to our computers and then learn these uh skills as we move on but don't forget once the one hour is uh, up and you have to uh, stop using the Mavis beacon. This is how you're gonna close the application or the software. All right, this is uh, an application software for those of you like um, Michelle and the, the one uh, those in the high school that have learned about softwares. This is an application software. So you click on Home. That will take you back to the other page. And then you click on exit. But before you go, uh, if two people are going to use this same laptop, once the first person finishes and then the second person is coming in, you have to click on change user. All right. It brings you back to this select user page whereby you select the new user, the person that is actually coming to take over from you. So if it is a new person, as I said earlier, what you're going to do is click on new. Type in a new name, click on the name and click on OK, which will take you to your classroom. So we meet again. Please do well and practice this and that will help us. Have a nice day. See you.